Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be testing out a bunch of makeup that I've just accumulated that isn't in my regular routine. If you have watched some of my videos, you pretty much know which makeup that I usually go to and that I use every time that I do my makeup. In this video, did I already say that? I don't know. If you wanted to see how I achieved this look, then keep on watching. I have not done my eyebrows, so excuse these. Um, no eyebrow lady, you know, newborn baby. I only can do my eyebrows when I have time, which is never, so. It has been about <laughs> a month and a half, I wanna say, since I've done my makeup, so. This could be a while. For some reason, I don't know if it's showing up on screen, but I'm getting like itchy patches on my face. And I don't know if anyone else has this issue, but they just come up like this and I get them randomly. Like, it's the weirdest thing. I thought I had sensitive skin, but I'm not sure. Cause when I got a facial done, they told me that I have oily skin because of how big my pores are. But I just get like, I don't know if you guys can even see, it's like itchy and I'm breaking out. I just get itchy red patches and then a, a zit will form, but it won't come up. So I don't really know what is going on with my skin. Don't know. Oh, and I'm drinking this mango. You know what I don't like? I don't like when a product is labeled a mango, but it doesn't taste like a real mango. I just, I don't like that false advertising. Usually I use my Real Techniques sponge, but for this video, since I am using products that are new, I'm trying to open this. I'm going to use these sponges, my mom gave this to me because she doesn't use sponges, so she just, I don't know where she got this from either. It's just two sponges. sponges are kind of hard. I'm gonna get them wet and see how they are. Hopefully I don't beat the hell out of my skin. I'm gonna go get both of them wet. I'm gonna use both in this video. So these are both wet. This one has like dimples in it. I don't know. I don't know. They both got dimples in them. Already primed my face. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. After this video, I think I'm either gonna film a story time or I'm gonna do my birth and my labor story because I have to get that out of the way before it slips my pregnant mind or my postpartum mind. I'm not pregnant anymore. I'm here acting like I don't know how to do my own makeup. Yeah, like I'm just getting these weird bumps all over my face. And this just started happening after I had my daughter. Oh. I keep dropping this damn sponge. Let's go on in. Let's go on in. I don't know how this is gonna work. I feel like it's gonna absorb a lot of the product. Oh. I'm sitting here acting like I don't got some of the biggest bags. Well, they're not big anymore, but I'm sitting here acting like I don't have any bags under my eyes. I'm running off like four hours of sleep. I'm not going anywhere, okay? <laughs> Let's just put that out there. Uh, 
my mom is babysitting my daughter for tonight. So I figured, let me film something. I was supposed to film eating pho with my sister tonight, but you know what? I was just so hungry and I was not able to set up my camera and everything at angles that were good. So another time for my birth video where I explain how my labor and everything went. I will link that once that one is posted in the description box below. This sponge is like very hard. I think I might need to start watching what I eat because I'm breaking out here. I don't like how this product <laughs> moved the concealer around. But we'll keep on going. So the next product that I wanna try out in this video is this foundation. Now I have used this foundation before. This is L'Oreal Paris True Match. My mom also gave this to me because she likes to hoard foundation. I don't know if I was W6 or if I was W5 in my color that I used years ago, but she gave me W6, um, sun beige, so I'm gonna try that. I don't know if this is my color. We're gonna see it. If it's not, you know, we got concealer here. We can make it work. I'm gonna try this sponge. Oh, that is very damp. It's very damp. Okay. We're gonna try this purple one now. Um, I'm just gonna put it on the bottom of this. This looks dark. a little dark for me I know like years ago this makeup used to be this foundation I mean used to be like everyone's holy grail and everyone loved it but um if you know me I like my 24 hour stay I also have to go and pick up more of my Fenty foundation. She came up with a new one, I believe. I wanna say it is matte, mattifying, but I don't know my color, so I gotta go into Sephora. It is my birthday month, so you already know I gotta pick up my birthday gift as well. Shout out to Courtney for getting my gift card for Christmas resent to me. <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened. Let's talk about it. So Courtney sent me this gift card for Christmas in December, okay? And it's COVID and the mall was closed and all this other bullshit. So I wasn't able to go to the mall to pick up anything, to buy anything. Uh, yeah, so I had this gift card. I didn't activate the gift card, nothing. It was just sitting in my email. I kept going to Sephora's website, looking for products that maybe I wanted to purchase and yeah, so I had my gift card in my email, chilling there, right? And it was like the end of December, I think it was after Christmas, and I went, I don't know what the hell, like I remember going to Sephora, to the website, but I don't know, I don't know, like I don't know what the hell happened. So anyway, I think it was the end of January, I had just given birth, you know, everything, I knew that my birthday was coming up, so I went to my email just to check, you know, I'm one of those people, like, yeah, so I go to my email, <laughs> I go to my email just to look at the, the gift card to make sure it's still there, and the email's gone. So I'm looking through my Gmail account, I'm going, I'm, I'm looking in the search bar for it, everything, and it's not showing up. Um, yeah, so long story short, I must have deleted the email that had the gift card. I did call Sephora and I asked them like, is it possible for me to somehow find the gift card even though I didn't activate it? Like, is there some way? And it was just this whole fucking thing. But Courtney was able to get the gift card resent to me. So, you know, I gotta activate this gift card. I gotta go and I gotta get my Fenty shit and I gotta get my birthday present. 
but yeah me and Courtney were sitting there going back and forth in the DM trying to figure out like how to get this freaking thing how to find it I blame it on mercury retrograde mind you I can't even see what the hell I'm doing oh my gosh I just pumped by the way this might be my color I have this bump right here um, it looks like I got bit by a bug but I don't really know I don't know like my skin is just weird if you guys have the same similar thing like itchy red patches that they go away please leave it in the comment section or DM me if you have me on social media and this isn't something new it isn't something like from my pregnancy that I developed um, oh shit did I just take my fucking foundation off this isn't something that I developed from my pregnancy. This is something this is something that I've had for a minute. And I'm not really quite sure what it is, but my skin just my skin's acting up. It's been acting up. Can we just talk about these sponges? I am not a fan of these. I don't like these. These are very hard, they're very rough, and I feel like they absorb a lot of the product. They're just not blending things out smoothly, I feel like. I started noticing these patches um, when I started trying out that pharmacy gel moisturizer, but I don't know if it's that moisturizer that's causing my skin to act like this. Um, but yeah, I started noticing these red patches coming on a little bit more, so I stopped using it and I was gonna give it to my mom for her to try out. I don't know if it is that moisturizer or not, but once I started noticing those patches, I was like, no, 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 no. We're not doing this anymore. I just looked in a bigger mirror and the foundation doesn't seem to be too far off of my actual skin tone so we gonna work with it in the next boxycharm box that comes I am pretty sure that there is a brow there's a brow kit coming so I'm excited because I'm tired of using this pencil I want to try something new even like I need a brow kit or like anything like that because I have eyebrows that kind of look the same so it's not like I have to do too much to my brows but it would be nice to try out a different product because I've been using that kind of pencil for years years oh that might be a little bit too much Today's look, I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing. How does that look? <laughs> Do I have to fix this other brow? Honestly, one brow is always looking better than the other one. So I went shopping today and um, I had gotten some coupons for formula from Similac. I went to Superstore, if you live in Canada, then you know what Superstore is, hopefully. Um, and I had two coupons that I used. Now tell me why the cashier, she rung in one coupon correctly, right, for $10 off. Tell me why for the other coupon, she put in 10 cents. So now I gotta go in tomorrow and I have to get a refund. Oh my god, that tastes horrible. For the palette, we are trying this lovely All of You eyeshadow palette. Now, All of You Forever, my bad, by Violet Boss. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what look I'm gonna do with this. I want to do some kind of green with a brown. I don't know. And I'm not a makeup artist. I don't really do anything crazy when it comes to makeup. So this is gonna be a journey. First of all, how is this eyebrow looking? It's fine. Let's go ahead and swatch all of me right there. My fingers are all clean. I'll put it on my pinky. Ooh, that is soft. Okay, all of me. Let's go ahead and swatch it right here, pressing down pretty hard. It's like a smoky green, smoky dark green. Hmm. Next one I'm gonna swatch is Olive Glow, right there in the bottom corner. Okay. Ooh, I like that one. Does that one match? Hmm. It's a little bit too dark for my dress, but. Okay, this is some good quality eyeshadow. I'm not used to this kind of shit. I'm gonna swatch Charmed next. When I first seen this one, I was like, Charmed, okay, Piper Prue, Phoebe. <laughs> if you know, you know. These are all so freaking soft and you don't even have to swatch hard to get a lot of product. We got Charmed. Now I'm gonna do one more. Do the black right there, infinity, on this finger. Yeah, all of these are very soft shadows. So I don't feel like it's gonna be an issue with pigment. And there isn't a lot of fallout. Well, that's just off the swatches. So there's not a lot of fallout swatching, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Wishful and I'm gonna put that in my crease. desire and we're gonna put that we're gonna just start layering so far I am really fucking with this palette I'm really fucking with this palette next I'm going in with charmed here and we're putting that also all here hmm. yeah we're gonna put that also in the crease Maybe to darken it, don't ask me. Maybe on the outer V as well. We'll just... Can y'all tell I don't know what I'm doing? So Charmed had a little bit of follow, but... to look good I just need it to look okay <laughs> like just look decent for me just look decent we about to pack on some olive glow feel about this look right now you know what they say don't judge a makeup look before it's done because you don't know 
You don't know how it's gonna turn out. I wonder if I should darken it up a little bit and put a little bit of black. You know what they say about black. Be very careful. The mats are kind of, they have fallout. I either just made this look or I broke it. See, this is me going out of my comfort zone and I really don't be doing that. And now I know why. I'm not even gonna touch it no more because I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. So, what other products are we gonna try? Because don't know if I wanna do lashes. Do I wanna do lashes? Let's do lashes. I was able to look in a bigger mirror in my bathroom and I think I'm gonna clean up this. understand why people do their eyeshadow before they do their foundation because this happens. Another new product that I'm going to use is this bodyography pencil. This is in the color Onyx. Now the one thing that I am going to say about this product is the lid does not stay on and if I'm not mistaken this product was retailing for $16 and this is actually the pencil that flew off, the lid flew off in my video. If you're going to be selling a product for $16, mind you there was another, there was two, um, I did give one to my mom, but if you're going to be selling a product for $16, the least thing that you could do was make sure that the freaking lid does not come off. Like, the lid just came off. Not too much, just so that the lashes have something to blend in with. How is Mercury Retrograde treating everybody? I just wanna know. <laughs> because this retrograde, I know it's an Aquarius. Okay, so I know it's going to be affecting Aquarians the most, but I do not like how Mercury is coming from my neck right now. We just got a lot of exposure going on, we got a lot of shit hitting the fan, and uh, quite frankly I'm not with the shits. Latina tonight so I'm gonna go in with my Quintina lashes by Bratz lashes if you wanted to purchase a pair of these lashes all the information that you need will be below so make sure that you check that out these are not a new product for me um, that video will also be down below If this makeup look is ugly we can just cover it up with these lashes <laughs> now you can't see my hideous ass makeup look perfect she's stunning We're going to 
gonna put major spotlight in the inner corner. This beautiful shimmery, let's see what the shimmer does. Okay. Okay, girl, you not bad. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, I do not mind this palette. The formula is really good. Well, from my expectations, the formula is really good, smooth, not a lot of follow. Look at that, guys. Like, swatches, I like them. I don't know. I don't know about y'all. I like this palette. I like this palette. I think it was $38, 38 or 34 Based off this formula and how great this palette is and just how smooth everything is, I probably would invest in a palette from them just with a different color scheme because... I don't really be wearing greens a lot like that. I'm gonna swatch Juicy, so all of my fingers are clean. Ooh, that is smooth too. I am a sucker for golds, like, I'm a gold fanatic, okay? I love golds on me. Should I put that right there? Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's try it. What is there? What could I possibly lose by doing that? Let's try this hard candy. I don't know what this is. This is what my mom got me for Christmas. I don't know why. When she knows that I just got this BoxyCharm subscription and my makeup is just piling all over the place. Now, hard candy, I don't discriminate from them, okay? They did have a really good concealer. I think it's their camo concealer. I did like that. Well, actually I do, it's not like I don't like it, but I'm gonna go in with this shimmery little... If you guys watch my makeup videos and these freaking videos of BoxyCharm, you guys know that I struggle <laughs> with this freaking packaging. Every package that I have to deal with, it's a struggle. Okay, so yeah, it just just looks like this it's just a tiny little thing so let's go ahead Ooh. oh it doesn't taste or smell bad well, these two are glosses and oh these two are plumping and this one is metaholic so guys, this is the final look. If you haven't already, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.